I'm keeping an eye on the battery because the battery uh, was down to 42% now. I want to see how, um, oops, oops. Oh no, I've crashed it. <laughs> That's all I need, isn't it? So another update, got to thank Nobby again for that. Nobby put up a post yesterday saying that it was a new update on the RC controller. I think a lot of us have been waiting for an update on the RC, especially to do with the Mini 3 Pro, because there's been quite a few problems with the Mini 3 Pro, from hyperlapse to flyaways. So, should we just go for it and get on with it? You don't need to turn on your Mini 3 Pro, you just need to turn on the controller, because it's a firmware update for the uh, controller. Now, I've just checked my screen, but as you noticed already, um, it says on there that it needs a download. But I'm going to just go into Profile, and if we go down to Settings, and then check for Firmware Updates, there it is. So we just click on that. Okay, so there you got it, the DJI RC V0103.1800, and it just said to fix some minor bugs. <laughs> I like the way you say minor. Anyway, so all you do, guys, you just tap the download. So I'll get back to you in a mo. So while my RC is still updating at the moment, which is 24%, I thought I'd better check my RCM1 because that hasn't had an update for a long time. I've just done a check for updates. It says everything's up to date. Uh, which is good. I got my Mini 3 Pro on as well, just to make sure that there's no updates for that drone as well. No updates there. I'm still waiting for this to finish. So the download's been done on the RC controller. I've turned on my Mini 3 Pro just to check everything's working fine, which it is. I can see, but it's always advisable to check when you go over to the about to make sure everything's fine on your screen, which is safety first. So at the moment, the app version is 1.13.11. Now, we all know the latest app date is uh, 1.15. So that hadn't changed. <laughs> That's why that is. Anyway, we, we just do aircraft firmware as well, just to make sure anything that needs updating. No. So anything that's been done then is the controller itself. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to go outside and do a, a test flight because I know quite a few people have been having problems over the past couple of months. One, unfortunately, has been a couple of flyaways. The other one has been, there's been some problems with the hyperlapse for some reason, so we'll be checking that as well. So, let's go out there. So, I'm at my favourite place. It's 10 minutes down the road from me. Now, we've had some rain. There's obviously a lot of storms going around at the moment. Obviously, even in the UK, it's got a lot of rain, but got a bit of a break at the moment. So, I've got an free Pro. What I'm going to do, I'll do a couple of tests on it. And also I've got, I think about just over 50% batteries. We'll see, we'll see about return to home as well. I think that's been another problem with this drone. But anyway, let's see what happens. It was a little bit slow. I was hoping it would uh, be a little bit faster loading up, but then that might vary on where we are. I don't know. Anyway, let's get the drone up in the air. I always do auto takeoff. Okay, yes, we got that. Let's send it up a bit more. I don't need to go that high. I'm just going to send it out. Okay. I'm just going to send it up right over there. You can see a, like a, a mining tower. I'll just go over there first. You can see the distance. No, no problems with the uh, speed. <laughs> okay, so let's just bring it around there. Let's see if we can draw a box around the. Unable to do. All so. oh, right. Okay. So this is another thing I've noticed now. That's that when I'm trying to do any sort of modes, 
I've got it in 1080-60. It doesn't like 1080-60. It likes 1080-30. So I'm just going to change that now. Right. 1080-30. Let's do that box again. Okay, so we got... We're going to do a point of interest. Okay, we're going to speed it up a little bit. And we press go. I'll turn on the footage as well, so I can check the video footage as well. Now that's not bad, because I'm doing it from quite a distance as well. Just want to see if there's any problems there. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be, but it's always worth checking, guys. Anyway, I'm not going to do the master shots today. I'm going to do these sort of things, but also um, I'm keeping an eye on the battery because the battery uh, was down to 42% now. I want to see how... Um, oops. Oops. Oh, no. I've crashed it. <laughs> That's all I need, isn't it? Right, will it take off? Let's have a look. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to go and retrieve that. I know where it is. It's right up on that mound up there. Okay, so. <laughs> How to find your drone. Let's turn off the uh, video footage for the moment. So this has turned into a longer video than I thought. <laughs> so my test flight today with the Mini 3 Pro using the, the RC with the latest update didn't really go very well as you've probably seen i flew off over to here at this location um i wanted to do a return to home i want i did a circle here but what it was this is the other thing which if you're thinking about buying a drone guys save your pennies and get the mini 4 pro because the mini 4 pro's got all round avoidance that this wouldn't have happened because i got front and rear it it didn't didn't take nothing so that's a bit of a shame really but anyway <laughs> these things do happen but the actual rc controller itself it's nothing wrong with it guys that that was my fault that the drone crashed um and i'm <laughs> trying to sort out a way of trying to rescue it. i know where it is now it's up on that that mountain up there that i just cannot climb but anyway that would be in another video but as always um is it worth updating I think people have been having problems with it. I mean, obviously, I wanted to try out the hyperlapse. Obviously, another one I wanted to try out the return to home. Um, as far as I know, watching Nobbies, there's no problems. Obviously, it's just a couple of things that we're trying to sort out. So if you've got no problems, your uh, RC, then don't bother. Like I said at the beginning, I did notice that the controller still seemed to take a while to load up. But then that could be just in this location. I don't know. But, yeah. If you, it's, it's, end of the day, guys, it's, it's your um, method, really. Do, do you want to update? If you're quite happy the way things are, then don't update. But um, for those who do update, it'd be interesting to know if you've had any problems. But the problem that I've had, and I'll put it across now, that's my fault that that happened. Um, but anyway, <laughs> that's made you raise sure now do doing an update is it anyway as always there's gonna be another video coming ray soon mm -hmm.